are standing in front of a giant mural by Robert McCall. How do you think that McCall got this huge painting up on the wall? Any ideas? Nyla? Scaffolding. He used scaffolding to paint it. Good. Yep. Katie? Um, he could have started with a smaller image and then copied it. That's exactly right. Robert McCall started with a much smaller image and enlarged it. And what he had to do was once he painted that image, the small image, he had to put it to scale. So he had to put a grid over it and then he enlarged the grid and put it on the wall and painted it block by block. Now we recently got a chance to go to a school and do that exact same thing with a different painting with a group of kids. We are at Providence Elementary School and we are joined by a bunch of young mathematicians and more importantly today, artists. And today these mathematicians and artists are going to help us enlarge a painting by Alan Bean. Now, as you can see, Alan Bean was an incredible painter, but something you might not know about him is he was the fourth person to ever walk on the moon. The painting we'll be enlarging is called The Fabulous Photograph We Never Took. Do you guys want to hear the story behind this? Yes. Okay. When Alan Bean and Pete Conrad were on the moon, they had a timer for this camera, and the timer broke. And cameras back then, it was really hard to do a selfie. So what Alan Bean did was when he got back from the moon, he imagined what that photograph would look like. And he painted it. And he used the boots that he used on the moon to press into the painting. He used patches. There's a little moon dust in here. So it's a really interesting painting. So today, you all are going to be creating scale drawings of this. So what we've done is we've divided it up into squares. Each one of you is going to get one square. You're going to scale that square up 900% to create a larger drawing. We're going to put all of those together and create a big scale drawing of this painting. You guys ready to get started? Yeah! Let's go. Unfortunately, we've run out of time, but you all have done some really great work today. And what's interesting, we've got a couple of our friends up here showing us their products, and they're not quite done yet, but look at the different approaches that they've used. You've taken more of a holistic approach, working on the whole picture, drawing lines across squares. And over here, you've taken square by square by square, which is a little different, but I think it's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to see what this looks like when we put it all together. Well, as you saw, our friends at Providence did some really great work. Unfortunately, they didn't get done that day, but I went back a couple days later and I picked up all of their finished pieces. Would you guys like to see what it looks like all put together? Yeah! Great, y'all have to build it. Get to work. Go. Well, let's tie all of this together. So we know that Alan Bean, who did this painting, walked on the moon. Well, when this mural was being done by Robert McCall, Alan Bean came into the museum one day. Alan Bean, being a painter himself, was talking to McCall and said, can I paint something? And so McCall gave him a paintbrush and he went over and he painted something very special. And it's the only part of this mural that Robert McCall didn't paint. You guys want to see it? Yes. All right, come with me. So everybody look up, 
See if you can see anything. So see the big moon over here. Look around. And right now there's a shadow there, but look to the right of that, and you're going to see a five-point star. You saw it. Do you see the five-point star? And it doesn't match anything else, does it? It's got the three rays coming off of it. Do you know what that is? That is the symbol for astronaut. And it was painted by an astronaut that walked on the moon.